Hello everybody, welcome back to more- ah, it's crap. Welcome back to more, let's play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, I was kind of lost for a while, and upon figuring that out, I realized- I, I did not figure it out, but I, um, read a walkthrough. I was not supposed to go try to go to the Mako Reactor, I was supposed to try to leave Mount Nebel, because there's apparently nothing more I can do here. I'm supposed to go to some place called Brocket Town, which is to the north. Okay, what information I was given that was supposed to tell me that I needed to go there is beyond me. I was told I needed to come here to find Sephiroth, but alright, whatever. We're going to go down these pipes so that I can hopefully get some treasures and stuff. Okay, so, let's see, pipe number two leads to that thing and pipe number one leads to that, or, I know what I mean. I want to get that treasure chest and I want to get that shiny thing that's on top of there before I leave. And that's just about the long and short of it. Or maybe it's number four that leads to that, leads to that place. Well, let's see. That's really annoying that I'm not in the caverns or every place where you would think there'd be monsters. And of course, you still get attacked. But I mean, hey. At the very least, you get experience. Helps you level up and get strong. It's like it's like the milk of RPGs. You get enough of it, you got strong bones and calcium. But only if you type Mr. Skelpo in the comments. Thank Mr. Skelpo. And now everybody's sitting down. Good. Good job, guys. <sighs> All right. Awesome. Come on. Let's let's just try a little bit. And okay, I got this weapon here, this um, sniper thing for Vincent in the last episode, and it seems to be. It seems to me that occasionally he'll shoot it twice, which is cool. All right. Let's go number four. Number four. Go in number four. There we go. Number four. Yay! Crap! Oh god, dragons. Actually, hang on a second. That's a... Hey, wait a minute. Do I have... No. No, I don't have any steel magic. Crap. All right, well. Let's play some of that sweet curing in Cloud here. Crap. Yeah, Cloud doesn't have any, any thief magic because I saw that as being useful, actually. I read in the guide that that's something you could do because apparently these dragons have like a really good piece of armor that you can take from them. And I I think my steel magic is on Tifa right now and I don't have a way to to do the things all the See here, here, shooting it twice. Yeah. That's that's what you call a good weapon right there. She's quick. She's quick. Quick roots. Oh no. That's not good. That's right, cure yourself. Cure yourself, Eris. Cure yourself of all that you've seen. See, what does Demi magic do? Oh god, alright, Vincent is dead. That's fine. I mean, oh no, Vincent is dead. Come on, you piece of crap. Um, do I need to... Okay, because not too long ago, I got... Hang on a second. I need to... Use a phoenix down. No... Because not too long ago, I unlocked um, Meteor Rain as a limit. Set. To change break level, it will begin from limit point zero change break level. Yes, I guess. Alright, that's fine. Now can I use it? Alright. Received all materia. Yay, now we can jump across here. So we can get back up. Let's get get back up. Now we can try for that gray thing that's on the rock over there. This is taking way too long just to get a couple of thingamabobs. I think it's pipe number one that leads to it. Seems to be. Uh Dun, 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 dun. I don't like this. Oh my god, yes, I get it. You want me to sit down, I know. Oh my god. I hate you guys. You suck. I don't like you. Eh. Oh, god. Come on, there we go. Give me a Guess we can all use a little bit of that, that sweet, that sweet, sweet healing magic. Now, let's see. Oh no. 
the the victory jingle is a little hard to beatbox to, especially when you suck at beatboxing. All right, now let's see. Number one. No. Frick, it was number two. Oh my god, I want that shiny thing because it is shiny and shiny is good. Is it just me, or can you not get attacked on these wood and metal bits? It's only once you reach this patch of rocks up here that you'll get that you'll get wrecked. I was about to say, I swear to God, if I get attacked on my friggin' way off of this, okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Dragons! Oh my God! Enough with the dragons! Oh God! Oh, jeez. Wait, did you just... Oh, it was Cloud's turn. I wasn't aware Cloud even had Cure 2, but I guess he did. Alright, that's cool. Cool beans, man. Ah, uh, more flamethrower flamethrowers of flamingness. The flaming flamethrowers of death. <laughs> Let's see if Seal Evil does anything to him. Seal Evil! Seal it! That did something to him, but I have no idea what. I should probably read the description for that attack at some point. Okay, awesome, we did it, yay. We're getting Fire Fangs. Alright, so... Constrains and stops the mat. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's what it does. Okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. All right. That might be useful on certain bosses, but I don't really see how it could be useful in the day-to-day. -day, you know? Because seal... Well, not seal evil, but healing wind is so much more useful. Because... This healing magic slide, that was kind of unnecessary. I didn't need to do that. All right, so how do I leave this crappy place? I think the way out is up top, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, wait, no, I need to I need to go back this way where the where this dragon was guarding the, this place. Yeah, what's up here? Oh, back to the overworld, okay. So also, um... As I was reading this walkthrough, I came across a section about Yuffie, dang it. A section about Yuffie? Oh god, no, not the mushroom heads. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez, this. Alright, so now does Cloud have Meteor Rain? Did I set it up correctly? Yeah. Kaboosh. Yes! Meteor Rain! Oh. Oh, that's awesome. Why did it not hit you? I have no idea. But, still, that's very useful and I like that. I like it a lot. Awesome. Eye drops. Okay. Anyway, I came across a section about Yuffie that says you can meet her in basically any forest in the game. Just back when we were in the 420 forest, that was the first time I saw her and I answered her question wrong and she ran away and stole my money. Dragons? Uh, no! Lions! Alright. That's... that's cool, I guess. Ouch. I... That's not who I told you to attack. Yeah, I told you to attack him. Me. Hibishk. You know, I realize that here in Final Fantasy VII... Ooh, a chili nut. What does that do? Anyway, I noticed that here in my Final Fantasy VII Let's Play, a lot of my commentary for the battles is just singing along to the music, which is not necessarily... Oh, wait, is this Rocket Town? Rocket Town! What's that? 
Uh, that looks like a giant rocket, so I would assume this is Rocket Town. Rocket power! Rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. Gee, I don't know, because small rockets generally don't make it to space all that well. Anyway, alright. Ooh, let's, let's have a drink. Better ask the captain about this town. He's the one in charge of the captain? Who's the captain? The captain was a guy with a rather large shield, but then Spider-Man came and stole it. He's the captain now. <laughs> Shinra Spill understood the space program. He was going to be the world's first astronaut, but there was an accident. Ever since then, he's been wasting his life away here, dreaming about going into outer space. Did you do see a man in a black cape? In a black cape? Nope, never. Well, thanks for the help. Would you like something to drink? Let me hear your story. Did you meet the captain already? He's really the town's representative, so you should talk with him. Alright, well, apparently everyone wants me to go talk to the captain. So, alright. Welcome to the Shingai Inn. It's a hundred gill a night. Yes, I would like to spend the night. Thank you. Oh, boy. And since we're out of town, I can finally buy some more stuff that I need, because I have like $43,000. And there's the dude in the bathroom back there. I wonder what happens if I go knock on the door. I'm in here. Well, alright. That uh, makes about enough sense. Uh, okay, let's see. Beds, yes, beds. This is, it's just, okay, just upstairs. That's fine. So this town, as, as like most towns and most RPGs, has an inn. I assume this is a weapon shop. Hey, what's up, bro? Let me handle all your weapon and accessory needs. Ooh, lovely. Let's see. Shotgun, which does more damage. Ah, crap. Gold armlet. Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot more defense for everybody. I could use me some of them. So, all right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. S need six of them. Because I don't plan on ever using weird cat guy down there. Power wrist. Strength plus ten. Ooh. Sound of vitality plus ten. Magic plus ten. I'll get one of those for Eris because that sounds useful. Might as well make Cloud even more jacked. All right, a talisman. All right, well, let's... The only weapon that's actually here is for Vincent, so... I don't know, should I get it? It's only plus six... It's only plus six attack, but it's $3,000. Eh, you know what, whatever. Sure, I'll get it. Then, let's sell some stuff that we don't need. Hang on a second, does it allow me... Okay, because if it would allow me to sell the stuff that I already have equipped, that would suck. Yeah, it didn't allow me to... Let's see. Yeah, no, it doesn't allow you to sell what you already have equipped. So that's that's good weapon design. That's good game design. Anyway, um... Let's see... What does Elus Chili not do when you want to breed chocobos? Okay, well. Black M phone. Yeah, because I don't plan on ever using him. Ever, ever, ever. I don't care. Sell off this platinum fist we don't need anymore. These mithril claws that we don't need. Alright, cool beans. Now, let's equip some people. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Alright. You know what? Yeah, I think I'll keep the Sniper CR on him because... And there's nothing else. Yeah, okay. Right. Equip the Gold Armlet. And the Fairy Ring. We'll just leave him with the Fairy Ring. Okay. And we will give Eris her... Where is the thing? Oh wait, hang on a second. Accessory. Spirit plus 10. Yeah, we're gonna give her magic plus 10 because that's more useful for her. Then... We want to the gold armlet. And she doesn't have... And I don't have a better staff for her, do I? Yeah, I don't. Okay. Dang, I did not mean to exit that menu. Um, let's see. 
And, yeah, okay. Gold armlets. Oh, he was... Cloud was already wearing a power wrist. Okay, I guess I'll just give it to somebody else then. Um... So, so yeah. Alright. Let's see. Does town have a proper... A right proper weapon shop there is? Does town have a... Does this town have a right proper weapon shop? Well, not a weapon shop. Yes, the item shop. This is what I was talking for. Alright, so... Let's see. Could always use more Phoenix Downs. Sure, let's buy 21 Phoenix Downs. Why not? Let's see. Ooh. Materia. Let's see. Barrier magic. That sounds useful. And you... Okay, I was about to say, do you have ethers? I can only... Why are ethers so freaking expensive? Jesus, man. Thanks anyway. Actually, we should probably explore around the, around the place. Yes, I'm just going to ransack your house for any treasure that you may or may not have. Hello, lady. All Gramps does is gaze at the rocket all day long. So, he is your grandfather, the kooky old man who wants to go to space. Where is this kooky old man who wants to go to space? I used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. Yeah, you saw the learning, uh, learning rocket. I uh, uh, Shinra number 26. It never got off the ground. It exploded with lots of kerbals still inside. Okay, well, let's go in here then, I guess. Dim -dim 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 and from what I understand about this game, we are nearing the end of disc one. There's a treasure. Drill arm. That's probably for Barrett. That's lovely. There's guns on the ground. That's cool. And it, there's a, a Rolls Royce. Or I get, I would imagine what is the Final Fantasy equivalent of a Rolls Royce. All right, let's go back here. Oh, there's an airplane in a cutscene. There's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco, this is cool. Let's take it, okay, Cloud? It's it's a busted up airplane. How's it gonna fly? Eh, we were just looking. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. Why is he in the rocket? I'm Shara. What are your names? I'm Cloud. I'm Eris. Vincent. I am... Never mind. Hmm, so you're not with the Shinra. I thought you would be bringing approval for the space program. Question marks? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Okay, yeah, guys, just get absorbed back into my soul. I guess that was all we had to say. Alright, fine. Alright. What do you have to say? Everyone in town was a mechanic back when they were planning to launch the rocket. Okay, well. It's all well and fine. Hey! Hello, old sir. Er, let's see, do I know any good jokes? Yeah. That, that's, really? That's all you have to say? That's it. That's, that's your whole... Alright, ooh. Power source. I assume I'll need that for later. Kind of like with those batteries back in, back in Midgar. I was already in there. All right, so let's go to the rocket. To the little rocket. There's a, there's an exit over there. What? Hang on a second, I need to go check that out. It just leads back to town. Alright. That's cool. That's fine. Um, Alright. I was just curious. Ding, ding, ding. 
There doesn't really seem to be much to talk about. I'm wondering why the Shinra Corporation was building a rocket in the first place, but as with everything in this game, it will be explained eventually, except for Cloud's marker hands, which I'm sure will be never be explained. Are you the captain? What are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. Captain, I'm the captain. Yes, we found the captain. Oh my god, it's Sid. Oh my god, yes, it's Captain Sid. The name's Sid, everyone calls me Captain, though. Captain Sid! Uh, what do you want? Tell me about this rocket. Wow, not bad for a kid. Alright, then I'll explain it to you. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, no, I know what Sid's voice sounds like. I'm playing Kingdom Hearts. You know, Shanna developed a lot of technological gadgets during the Meaningless War, right? Well, now it's a Mako company, but in the old days, it was a weapons manufacturer. Oh, well, they came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going out of space, our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it and made prototype after prototype. And finally, they completed Shinra number 26. Okay, now it's starting to get a bit more New York, and I, I'll just say it. They chose the, the best pilot in Shinra, no in the world, me. Come on. And finally, we get to the day of the launch, everything was going well. And let me guess. Kaboom. But because of that... Because of that dumbass Shara, the launch got messed up, and that's why they became so anal. And so Shinra nixed their outer space exploration plans, and they told me how the future of space exploration, and got my damn hopes up. Damn them! Then it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable, they didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, moolah, dinero, my dream was just a financial number for them. Yeah, sounds a lot like corporations, man. Look at this rusted rocket. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day it tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. The thing falling over or me getting out of here. I'm guessing it's going to fall over sometime. My last hope is to talk to the president. Well, I didn't get to talk to you about the other options of stuff. Okay, well, on, okay, on this very amazing looking little shot here with clouds staring directly into my soul i'd say that's a good place to end off so next time on final fantasy 7 we're gonna explore more and we're gonna find out more about this rocket so thanks for watching see you next time Bye bye